Hey G Squad, welcome back to the episode of Is In Worth It. So today's episode, we got this cool monitor right here. And basically what this is, is the monitor light bar. You can see the one that we got right here from this brand. And then right here, they show you guys the picture of what the product looks like. And we see the bottom right here, they probably got some specs and features that's on here as well. And they also mentioned how the product is eye friendly as well. So that way it won't hurt your eyes or anything from long periods of usage. When you guys look at the top part right here, they tell you guys some more specs as well. So you see right here, they mentioned how the light is actually adjustable in terms of color temperature. And you guys also control the brightness as well. And if you guys are curious about how long the bar is, they mentioned right here, which should be 50 cm. And on the bottom, if you can see right here, they mentioned how the product uses a USB-C input. So you definitely want to plug in a cable to activate it. And then in terms of the light bar, it is a clip-on design. If you can see how they mentioned right here and show you guys how to use it. So that is everything that's on the package. Let me actually open up to show you guys what the inside looks like. So once you guys open up, this actually looks like inside. So you can see the light bar here and the probably guys a little box. Let's take everything out first. So for the first box, let's see what's inside. So inside the product guys, a user manual to teach you guys how to use it. And then right here, we do have a USB to USB-C cable. So you definitely want to plug that in to actually activate the product. And that is everything in the small little box. Now let's take out the light bar. All right, so once you guys take out the light bar, if you see how it's all nicely wrapped up, but let's take out all the wrappers first. All right, so once you guys take it out, this is what the product looks like. So right here, we do have the light option. But then see on top, we do have the brand logo. We have a power button. And right here, we do have a button that's probably for like the color temperature setting. And we see in the back right here, we have this little scrolling option where it's just like the brightness level. So if I turn this way, that will decrease it and that will probably increase it. And we see in the bottom right here, we do have a USB-C input. So definitely want to plug in the cable to activate it. And then for the light bar, it does give you guys the option to adjust it. So like this. So that's how far it goes that way. If you guys turn this way, that is how far it goes that way. So that's really cool how they give you guys the option to adjust it. So if you guys want to higher or lower when you guys put it onto the monitor, you guys can adjust it based on your own preference. And then we see for this part right here, that is where you put it onto the monitor. And then for this part and this part, and we see how she has like a non stick material. They just want to peel off the actual wrapper first before you guys start using it. So let me just take it off to show you guys what I mean. All right, so you're gonna do the same thing for the bottom one as well. And if you guys are curious about why is this thing so heavy in the back, that is basically like a weight, so that way you can pull it down and prevent the actual product from falling down when you guys set it up. And then for this part right here, when you guys do set it up, you do have the option to pull it up like this. So that way you can adjust it based on your own preference depending on the monitor you're using. And for this product, it actually gives you guys the option to use it on the monitor, but you guys can also use it on your laptop as well, which is what I'm gonna be doing in this test, just to show you guys that it does work on the laptop screen as well. So before I should plug in the cable, I did notice one more thing. If you guys look at the bottom part here, and right here as well, and also on this part right here, you guys actually need to peel off the wrapper here as well to give you guys that non-stick coating or whatever. So if you guys take it off, now you guys are all set to start using it onto your monitor or whatever. But for now, like I mentioned, I'm gonna plug in the cable to show you guys what it actually looks like when you guys do turn it on. So let's plug it in the bottom right here. Once you guys have it plugged in, what you're gonna do is turn on the power on top and that will activate the product. So that is light number one. If you guys press on this button, that changes light number two. Press it again. Now light number three. If you guys press it again, it goes back to light number one. And like I mentioned earlier, it does give you guys the option to adjust like the brightness level on here. So if you guys turn the knob on top, this is on max. But if you guys turn the other way, that brings it down. And like I mentioned, it does give you guys the option to adjust this bar here to bring up or down based on your own preference. So that is how you guys use all the different button controls that's on here. Now let's go set this up to show you guys what it actually looks like if you guys were to use this onto like a laptop or a monitor or something. And then we'll come back and talk more about it in a second. So the way how you guys set up the light bar is actually pretty easy. You actually have the option to adjust the base on your own preference. So you can see this is what the back part looks like when you guys do set it up. You have the option to put it right here. Or if you guys want to, you guys can even go like that as well. But it's probably much more safer for you guys to put it the other way like this. So that way it actually has a better balance when you guys do set it up. And also if you guys notice in the back right here, like I mentioned earlier, it actually has a little weight in the back to support it and prevent it from like falling off in the front. But once you guys have everything all set up and plugged in, you guys can push on the power button and turn it on. So let's test it out to see what it actually looks like when you guys do use it. All right, so if you guys push on the power button and turn it on, this is what the part looks like. So like I mentioned, it does give you guys the option to adjust the actual light. So if you guys want to move it up, you guys move it up like that or bring it back down and you do have the option to change the color temperature by pressing this button so here is color two here is color three and back to one 
If you guys increase it, this is already on max. If you guys bring it down, that's how low it can go. So you do have the option to change like the color temperature setting and also brightness level as well. But you can see how it give you guys a pretty good coverage when you guys do set it up. So that way you can see everything in the front right here. But you can see it does give you guys a pretty good coverage on the bottom right here. So that way when you guys are using it at nighttime and you guys don't want to disturb other people, you guys can turn one of these on. And it's actually really cool how the product allows you guys to use it onto like a laptop screen or even for like a monitor as well. So just to show you guys another point of view of what the product looks like in terms of coverage, it actually makes everything really bright. So that way you can see everything in the bottom. Let me actually turn it off to show you guys what it looks like without it. All right, so you can see it's actually really dark without the actual light. So it does make a difference. Right, welcome back guys. So that's a quick test the product definitely actually does work and it works quite well. So like I mentioned earlier, you do have the option to use it onto like a monitor or if you guys want to use it onto your laptop, you guys can definitely use it how you guys want to. And if you guys notice when you actually use the product, it is pretty bright, but you do have the option to adjust like the color temperature setting and also the brightness level as well, which is really convenient. So that way, if you guys want to be lighter or darker, you guys can adjust it based on your own preference. But that is everything that's on the product. Now to unboxing and testing the product. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want more need one of these, especially if you guys are trying to look for a high quality monitor light bar that has all the same specs and benefit that's on here, then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save the money for something else actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.